Okay, people always ask me how to remove the factory airbox. Very quick, nice and simple. Pull your air fill out, two Phillips screws. Remove all the plastic trim screws from this panel. Pull the panel completely out. Don't forget to take these two off. Just go into there. Take the two trim clips out of there. Remove this part. This lower section here unclips out of the inside of the airbox. Take that out. Take the ECU case off. Unplug both the connectors on the ECU. I've already done them, but they're here. At the back here, there's a little screw. It's a T20. Yeah, T20 screw here. This holds the wiring loom down at the back. You need to remove that, and then there's a clip at the front. Then you can pull the wiring loom out. Remove, again, two screws T20 on the MAF sensor. Remove the MAF sensor totally. Remove the induction pipe totally. Now this is the part that people always struggle with and get stuck with. You've got two options. You can just leave it like this and struggle, or you can remove the two bolts that are here on the underside of the radiator cowling that basically holds it up. If you remove those two 10 mil bolts and let the radiator hang, gives you a bit more clearance here, but I'll show you how to wrestle it out anyway. So what I normally do is I just grab the air filter, or the air box, sorry, down here, and then one here or here. Give it a good wiggle and a tug up. And it'll come out of its pegs like that. Then you want to jimmy it. You want to actually tilt it down at this end and jimmy it along. And then, this is the tricky bit, you tilt it up like this, and then you pull it out. If you just try to go all the way along, it won't clear it. This bit here gets stuck there. So if you want to do, drop the radiator, it gives you a bit more clearance, but you can just do it like this.